Well, and it, it, I think the other part is that <clears throat> we're, we're kind of like, there is this conversation in the scholarship of like, why did it take so long for Virginia or why did Kentucky never fully secede? And we, we don't really in the so in Civil War scholarship have that same conversation with the Southwest. Um, it, it, especially yeah. when we think of like the, there is that, like you rightly point out, there is that Southern dream of like tapping into the California or Colorado gold fields or opening transport routes to the Pacific. So it's it it seems on the part of scholars sort of that I don't want to sound accusatory, but almost like willful ignorance that you know because no never ha we didn't have a big battles there we we can ignore that part of the country yeah and and i think it's safe to say that the civil war was won and lost on the major battlefields in the eastern half of the country um and so you know proportionally the population of this of the southwest you know may not have been great enough to really swing the war in one direction or the other um, but that doesn't mean that the you know the, the fracturing of a gigantic piece of the north american continent wouldn't be significant right um, so i'm i'm almost more interested in the uh, the political stakes of this moment than i am in, in you know any given battle in the southwest yeah um and i think that's it i mean it's a, it's a really important question to ask i mean even if we like counterfactually since we like to do that here apparently today um i mean we think about it, it's like let's say southern california had seceded as colorado it would have made the conduct of the war probably that much more complicated of all of a sudden you have to now send an army to the west coast send officers to the west coast fight there devote naval resources to that region um so yeah, it didn't happen, but I think the, the counterfactual aspect there is sort of like, yes, but if it did and we came close, it how would have if would have how would that have had affected the war in, in the larger scheme? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of these separatists in the Southwest were um, sort of playing a wait and see game. Mm -hmm. uh, they knew that had the Confederacy won independence their own sort of separatist movements stood a much greater chance of succeeding. Um, and, and this was a widely repeated um, theory during the war. Everybody from Alexander Stevens to um, McClellan to William Gwynn talked about what happens if the South wins. It probably means more than just one republic where the United States used to exist. Um, and the sort of the top candidate for the third republic would have been a Pacific Republic, mm -hmm. which a lot of the sort of southern sympathizing Californians were, had been talking about for basically a decade. Yeah. Um, and 